All right, guys, earlier tonight, the USGS confirming the 81st earthquake to hit Elgin. Around 750 people so far say they felt it. It was recorded at a magnitude 2.5, and it's the first earthquake to hit the area in the last two weeks. But the latest in what researchers are calling the longest earthquake swarm in our state's history. The USGS has reported around 80 earthquakes, as we shared, since last December. Now, the strongest earthquake recorded this year was back in June when a 3.6 magnitude quake shook the Elgin area. Since the start of the storm, USC scientists have been working to find out what's happening beneath the surface. Researchers could now be one step closer to understanding the source. Now, they use devices called seismometers to monitor earthquake patterns. And these, this month, these scientists installed 86 new ones between Elgin and Fort Jackson. We're hoping that now we have these seismometers right on top of where the swarm is happening, we'll be able to better spatially locate where these earthquakes are because we have more observing points. Well, researchers say they'll have more data in January from those new monitors. There are typically around 10 to 20 earthquakes in our state each year. And as we mentioned, there have been more than 80 in Elgin. The USGS says the last one um, before this most recent one, 1 1.3 magnitude, that was October 14th. Now, earlier this month, the state emergency management launching a new earthquake preparedness resource to help prepare when a shake strikes. There's information about fault lines in our state, a guide for pet owners information about aftershocks and a look at myths and facts about earthquakes. You can find the agency's guide online with a full list of ways to repair your home for an earthquake. Well, let's talk about tonight's earthquake. Like Kaylin said, a 2.5 on the Richter scale felt quite oh, really widespread across the Midlands. Once again, like many of these earthquakes have over 900 reports to the USGS as of right before the start of this show. And you can see where this occurred right here, this red star. Take a closer look at the swarm and the history of what's been going on here. Now sitting at 81 earthquakes. And a little bit of an interesting note of uh, this earthquake tonight is that you can see it's in Richland County, the first one that we've seen with the swarm that wasn't in portions of Kershaw County. And also this one occurring right under Fort Jackson. As of right now, we'll st we're still waiting to see the depth of this earthquake, but it is known that it's a 2.5. So in the middle of where we've been seeing all the strengths of these earthquakes. Now, 